Hey guys, my name is Ranjan Bhaskar and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can build and code your design system components that you have been de designing in Figma and you can make these components from scratch starting from designing them and coding them using cursor and Figma MCP. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So the first thing that I have to do is obviously open cursor. So if you have not uh, connected Figma MCP to your cursor account, you can simply watch one of my previous videos. I'll give the video link in description so you can check that out. It only takes a minute and then you should be good to go. Once you do that, I'm going to simply open cursor and, and then I'm going to create a new project right here. So I'm going to let's say open project and then let's create a new folder and let's say design system. Oops and then open it and we have uh, open cursor right here. Now the next thing that I want to do is make sure that the Figma MCP is enabled so I'm going to go to settings just quickly go to course cursor settings and then I'm going to go to tools and integration. So since the indicator is green I'm pretty much good to go if it's red you can simply turn it off and turn it back on again. Once you do that you can open Figma right here and you can see that I have a small component batches component right here it has several types so it has several props so if I create a copy right here if I create an instance you can see I have these two sizes which are small and medium I have different types of uh, badges right here success uh, warning etc and then I also have a, tag, a toggle for darker or in, uh, darker backgrounds or high emphasis badges right here so the next thing I'm gonna do is simply delete this right here Select this on my Figma app right here and press command L to copy the link. You can also right click on it, copy and then go to copy link to selection. Once you do that, I'm going to go back to cursor and then I'm going to open the chat right here. You can just click on this toggle right here to open a new chat. And then I'm simply going to paste the link that I had just copied and I'm going to prompt it to create a new React library, library for this design say system in figma make sure you are replicating the exact designs in code so once i do that once i prompt it to create this design system badge from my figma mcp server i'm simply gonna press enter on my keyboard and it's gonna start thinking for a while for the first time it might take some time for the model i'm simply using gp5 which just launched a few days ago so that should be good to go but you can also use other models uh, like cloud sonic 4 or cloud sonic 3.5 gemini 2.5 also works pretty good so you can start checking these models out and see what works for you the best once you enter the prompt you can see it's saying i'm going to pull the thing on its generated code it's calling get code and it's calling different different variables to you know check, connect to the mcp server and get all the information from the figma uh, app that you have opened in your system and it might take some time for the first few minutes so i'm simply gonna wind it up now it's prompting me to run this command so i'm simply gonna press enter on my keyboard to run this it's gonna ask you a bunch of time to run these specific commands because it's setting up the react library so it's good to go you can press enter and you can run these commands all together one by one. Right, so once it starts processing and when it's, once it's finished processing, you can see it has executed a lot of, lot of code and it took me around four to five minutes to do all this and it's generated this all this code from one single prompt that I entered initially. So it's fine if it's going to take longer for your first time. Once you do that, I'm simply gonna open the terminal right here and I'm gonna write npm run storybook because it has created a storybook for me, which is the general standard for maintaining these design systems. And I'm simply gonna press enter. And once it's to, uh, once it does that, it's, it is going to open a browser on my keyboard, uh, on my browser. So I'm simply gonna open my browser right here. And you can see it's running on localhost. That means it, it is my personal local project that it has created. You can go to the batch component and see what it has created right now. As you can see, we had these different variants. We had small variants, we had dark variants. It has created all these within a single prompt. And you can see it has created all these uh, props right here. So if I uh, you know, extend this right here, you can see all the labels. So if I want to edit this label, I can simply type it right here. I, if I want a darker BG, I can press the toggles right here. If I want a medium size, I can simply select medium. And you can see I have these left icon and other props. So if you have your design system, it has a personal icon library, you can also select these icons right here. 
So in just one single prompt, I have created something very tangible that I can use to create. So if you see that you have some padding issues or sizing issues, one of the good ways that I like to use Figma MCP or with cursor is I simply open Figma and let's say if I have an issue with this component that the code has built or the cursor has built, I will simply press Command Shift C on my keyboard so that it copies as a PNG and then I'm simply gonna go to cursor paste the uh, screenshot that we had just copied and prompt it to fix all these sizing issues. Uh, it does work sometimes, it does not work sometimes. So the second way that I love is to simply directly give out the props. So let's say if I have four uh, spacing, four uh, left and right pad padding and two top and bottom padding, I would manually give these numbers to Cursor AI and prompt it to you know fix these issues. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can build your own design systems. Once you build these design system components yourself, you'll be able to create these design system components from scratch from zero to one. And your developers will be a lot happy when you use these. Uh, uh, cursor AI agents. So that was it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye-bye.